Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today I have another new drink for you, and that drink is from Red Bull. It is their winter edition. A lot of people have been asking me if I was going to review it. It started off as a store exclusive. I forget if it was a Kroger exclusive or some store. Uh, they do this with all the stores. They usually do it with either Circle K or Speedway, maybe 7-Eleven. Wait, they're the same thing. But anyway, they usually go through a rotation of different stores that get it for like three months before everybody else. Then all the other stores get it. It finally started showing up near me, and that flavor is fig apple fig apple what what are we like 90 now adding prune juice to our drinks come on red bull Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. I go over everyday energy for everyday people. It is primarily energy drink reviews, but I also do caffeinated products from time to time as well as caffeine safety videos. So if that sounds like it might be something for you, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. Where to go? Where? Where did? Where? Why do they do this? I, I just, I got so used to where it was and now, now they go, oh, when they change things, oh, we want to be cool and refresh stuff. Let's look more like TikTok or something. Why are you going to go changing things on us old people? You know we don't like change. But yeah, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's over there or it's over there. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. If you can't, go just practice. Just say, hey, where is that subscribe button? Oh, it's right there. Let's see if it works. And then click on it and then tell all your friends to watch this video and see if the subscribe button works. And it's one way to get more subscribers. But where was I? Uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button if that sounds like stuff that you're interested in. If you're looking to show support for the channel, I do offer channel memberships. But if that's not right for you, you can follow me all over social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all at Caffeine Man one I even even have a few TikTok videos, but not many. On YouTube, I post new videos every Tuesday night and one on the weekends. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys the new Red Bull Winter Edition, and that Winter Edition is Fig Apple. A very interesting name. Uh, most people, I don't think there's a single drink that has fig in the title. And I'm not really even sure if they're actually going to put fig in the drink. I think they were looking for a unique and creative name. They're like, oh, we got we to gotta convince people to try this drink. Did you hear Red Bull has a fig apple? I, I got to try that. And then, then it's just an apple drink. And, you know, it's winter, and uh, they're trying to come up with ideas for winter editions. Summer editions are a little bit easier, but when it comes to winter, they usually want to give you a winter type of feel. They've done the plum flavor. I believe they did like a holiday spice in Canada. Arctic Berry was another one. And now they're doing fig apple, and I think they wanted to kind of stray away from the names that go with your fall apples and your caramel apples. And I think they're going for more of a holiday festive kind of apple because I, I think for some reason in my head I think that fig is usually related to that to the December holiday am I allowed to say Christmas anymore is Christmas okay or am I just supposed to say it's a holiday type of fruit don't care my politically correctness has started to go out the window as I become older that's what happens when you get old this happens but I try my best but yeah I am just going to tell you a little bit about the drink and then taste it out for you guys so let's do that so why don't we go ahead and take a look at the nutrition facts panel. I ended up purchasing the 8-ounce can because that's all they had. I'm sure it's coming out in a 12-ounce can as well. But hey, you know, for a review channel, 8 ounces is the perfect amount to taste it out. And if it's not that great, no harm, no foul. If it is, I got a backup can on the fridge. But you're looking at 110 calories, zero fat, 90 milligrams of sodium, 28 carbs, and 26 grams of sugar. And those 26 grams of sugar are added sugar, so you're getting a lot of sugar in this itty bitty eight ounce can. One of my biggest complaints about Red Bull and why I don't drink it much anymore is because they have so much sugar in it, just like Monster, just like Rockstar. Some people complain that Monster's got like 54 grams of sugar, so it's a lot more, but listen, that's 16 ounces. So do the math, two eight ounce cans is gonna get you to 52 grams of sugar. So no matter what, it's got a lot of sugar in it. And you look at how much sugar per ounce again. And they don't really have that many sugar-free flavors either. All things I've complained about in the past if you watch any of my other Red Bull videos. But hopefully they get on the bandwagon and start making more sugar-free options because listen, Monster is pumping out those ultra flavors. My goodness, they've done they've done they've done the they've done so many ultras. I've done I can't even point you to the videos that I've done because I've done a lot of ultra videos. Loving their fiesta. They just came out with their peach and, and they got their they just there's uh, people have been sending me pictures of the pink one that they have, like a strawberry cream kind of flavor since the orange cream have been going over so well so that should be out soon but everyone's making more sugar-free drinks but but not not red bull don't know what red bull's problem is but they are giving you 100 percent of your niacin 80 percent of your daily value of b12 250 percent of your b6 and 50 percent of your daily value of panthothenic acid why don't we go ahead let's taste it out and here's the can 
Uh, it is a dark green can. Uh, I thought they might have gone more purple for fig, but I guess maybe it's more of an apple flavor, so they're going for the green. They went with dark green. Not really many dark green apples, but I don't know. I don't know what Red Bull's doing. Let's taste it out. So itty bitty. It fits right in my hand. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Don't forget that artificial color we got in there. Kind of like an apple juice kind of color. I think I poured half the can in there. Taste it out. Carbonation is a, a medium carbonation. Uh, it's not too, too carbonated. It's not really getting to that high mark. Your sweetness, uh, for having as much sugar as it is in there, doesn't taste as sweet as I thought it would. Uh, it's probably got a medium to maybe medium high on the sweetness level. Definitely not hitting the high mark for uh, 26 grams of sugar in there. And for your flavor profile, I'm also gonna give it a medium to medium high on the flavor profile. Not really getting that high category. And for that flavor, as you might be able to tell, I do not like that. Uh, not, I don't do not do. I couldn't even say do not like that, right? I, I don't. I don't like it very much. Um, apple is an extremely competitive category, and a lot of people have done a lot of great apple flavors. You know, you'll see that when we get to the caffeine man rating chart. But uh, I always say it's kind of hard to mess up apple a little bit. There's certain things you shouldn't be able to mess up, which is grape, uh, orange. Those those are your staples. All your grapes and oranges taste very similar, and and, and your apples usually taste pretty much like uh, either your Granny Smith kind of apples, uh, green on the can, or um, even uh, some kind of a red apple, potentially. Uh, one of the other apple drinks that I wasn't overly fond of was the uh, the raised juice box because that tasted more like apple juice, and uh, I don't really like apple juice that much. So I've never been a huge fan of apple juice, but if uh, but it got a decent score because they made it actually taste like juice box. That's what they were going for, so it got a good score. Uh, I, I prefer more of your standard apple flavor, and I'm getting more of an apple juice feel out of this, but then you're also getting this weird taste in there, which I'm guessing is the fig, which, um, you know, I, 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 I've also had prune juice, uh, at some point in my life and never ever liked that flavor and uh, I am getting hints of that flavor uh, in there so so they are giving you a little bit of fig in there and then you're getting the Red Bull uh, standard energy drink aftertaste to it and the combination of all of those non-liked flavors by me uh, makes me not really want to drink it anymore and that is going to be personal preference partially at the same time I really don't think that they gave you a nice solid apple flavor I really think they gave you more of like a, a cheap concentrated apple juice and then you tossed in something like fig or whatever I know prune juice isn't a, a, a best seller I don't think I've ever met anyone that enjoys drinking prune juice unless they had some issues and that's why they were drinking prune juice and then just combining those two things together just just does, does not work and, and then the energy drink flavor comes in and if you know my channel, uh, I usually try and stay away from standard energy drink flavors. I think they're just kind of uh, old school, outdated. And the combination of all those flavors just don't really like it at all. I mean, in general, it makes me think that it's, 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 it's an old drink. I mean, who drinks apple juice and prune juice and uh, is standard energy drink? I mean, you're just you're just you're just old school. I mean, people are coming up with like Starburst, Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, Warheads, Swedish Fish, Cotton Candies. I, I mean, I did a video. I'll point you to this video here. If you guys want to know all the different kinds of flavors that are out there, you can skip to the timestamp to bypass all your categories of energy drinks and go to the flavors just to see how many flavors there are that are unique and great flavors and Red Bull's coming out with like Fig Apple. I can honestly say after trying this drink and doing this for over four years now, I don't really understand how they are so far ahead of the rest of the field with the amount of money they sell with Red Bull being a six billion dollar company last year, the year before, I mean six billion. The second place was Monster with like three billion or four billion. Like how can you be so far ahead of Monster with, with the selection that you have? And it must just be from the brand that they have. Everyone knows Red Bull, everyone buys it. It's sold in every single place that has a bar or a restaurant. Not many other energy drinks can say that they are actually in every 
every single bar, but they're probably only still the number one company because they do have some good drinks. I, I'll say they do have good drinks, but they are few and far between compared to some of the other companies that have been coming out with bangers all the time. That being said, let's stop the complaining. Let's go ahead, let's put it on the Cafe Man rating chart. We're gonna rate this with all the other old people one, like cranberry and grapefruit. Freaking Red Bull, come on now. My opinion, Red Bull doesn't know how to make a good apple flavor just yet. They tried kiwi apple, didn't really go over that well. I know some people were a little upset that it had gotten discontinued, but once again, there's a reason why drinks get discontinued, usually because they're not selling well. And this one, get it while you can, because it's only going to be around this winter, then it's going away. It's getting a 6.3. Looks like we'll be waiting another six months for Red Bull's next flavor. So, so sad. Thank you so much for joining me today. Wish I had better news for you, but hey, at least I'm here to let you know what drinks to get and what drinks not to get. Unless you're someone who likes apple juice with prune juice mixed in there, then Red Bull has the drink for you. Until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. Some people are like, well, Monster has 54, 56. I have a can. I don't have to guess. I can say the right number. I, I can say the right number.